Hello, we are back with another tutorial video and this time it's data binding in AngularJS. I will demonstrate the very basic steps of data binding in this tutorial. This understanding will be helpful in our future AngularJS tutorials, which will deal with some intermediate complexity stuff. So what is data binding in AngularJS? It is simply the automatic synchronization of data between the model and the view. So let's hop on to the code session right away and see what it really means. I am reusing the same human code base which we had generated in the last tutorial. So if you are not familiar then I would recommend you see that video first. Let's run the app by running the brand server. We'll be modifying the code uh, easy section. Let's modify the code easy view which I had created to see the binding in action. For that, uh, let's use some Angular built in tags. Double curly braces within the HTML view is what is used for data binding in AngularJS. So we have the content uh, within double braces now and uh, let's do some styling using the built-in or uh, included uh, bootstrap styles let's include a 12 grid uh, class and let's uh, align the text center Keep that touch one within the div. Also, so uh, we have this style included now. Let's add some margin so that everything little, looks a little neat. There you have it. Okay, so that's how the data binding works with double curly braces. So let's do some a little bit of modification like add a, add a little of concatenation. We are right, right now concatenating the same string and you can see that the, there is no change in the output but it is concatenated. Now what if you your data is dynamic and it is coming through a controller. How can you bind the data in such a use case? Well, let's get rid of the boilerplate code created and write our own model objects, which we can bind with the view. Let's add a dependency, inject something called as a, a scope, which is an application object with which we will be able to bind models and functions to view. We will define our models uh, using scope using scope.model name. In our case, it is my content. I'm just adding the same, some content uh, which we'll try to show in the uh, view. So once a model is included in the controller, it can be accessed in the view for binding. So it is uh, model name is my content. I'm replacing the static text with the, the dynamic content which is coming from the controller now and you can see that it is being bound now let's go back and uh, let's add some more uh, complexity to it instead of uh, one string content let's create it as an object and get rid of that uh, string now let's include uh, something called as a title for my content let's say my title call it hello and my name and some description
and let's try including this binding in our HTML so I'll call it as my title and you can see that it is getting reflected now so I need now I would like to include my name which I'll include in an h3 within the double curly braces my content dot my name maybe I'll start with uh, my name is and you can see that the dynamic data binding is working now with an object being bound a model which is an object being bound to the from the controller to the view so this magic is happening because of the scope object uh, which we def scope in object which we uh, defined which is actually dependency injected one other thing I can try doing is add even oh, we can bind a style from the controller let's say I want to include a color from the controller I'm adding my style adding a color let's say my color I would want to include uh, hmm, let's say red and I go back to my HTML and I try binding that uh, let me just add it within the style itself as color and with the double braces I can include that style defined in the controller as my color and it is actually not my content it is my style dot my color so I have the red color defined and I should be able to see that yes you can see that the style is being bound now so that's how the data binding works. All right, that's it for this episode. Be sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button. Make sure to also check out our other tutorial videos and feel free to provide your feedback. Thank you. Socrates.